Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing wonderfully well. For today's valued viewer request, we've got from Sharpies Lighting. For all of your lighting needs, please go to Sharpies. I did that for my own back, RC. Nice. Just a nice guy. Hi Cap, have you ever tested which twin engine aircraft performs best with only one engine? Landing, slash takeoff, or even dogfights? Okay, a very valid question. So, um, we've thought about this long and hard and done a bit of practice. Dogfights, no, there's no point in trying to get empirical scientific information from dogfights about having one engine. It's just, it's no good. Takeoff, no, sorry, landing, no use either because you put hardly any throttle on when landing anyway. It basically doesn't make much difference whether you've got one engine or two engines on landing. Takeoff is a different matter. You've got to use a good amount of thrust to get off. So takeoff we'll definitely look at. And as well as that, we figured the best way to do this overall is to do a QRA time to climb, okay? What we're going to do is have the aircraft in here, we'll have a look at them in a minute, and we're going to give them a certain amount of fuel. Uh, with one engine, they've got to take off pretty much as quickly as they can, then they've got to climb as high as they possibly can while they've still got their fuel. That's going to give us an overall rating of A, how well it takes off, and B, how well it climbs, how well it performs at different altitudes, how much thrust away it's got, and so on. I think that's the best thing we do. And it was not going to take five hours. Uh, the aircraft we've got today are, and I quote, MiG-19P, MiG-29, Su-27, F-18, A-10C, F-14B, F-15C, F-5E, and the Su-25. Ones that we're probably going to struggle with are the ones with, that have their engines far apart laterally, especially the Tomcat. If you have engines far apart laterally and you only have one engine going, you produce a massive asymmetric torque on the aircraft. It basically rotates, spins the aircraft around it. It's almost impossible to counter that. And the more you counter that, the more rudder you're going to have to put in and the more drag you're going to put on the airframe, the less well that the aircraft is going to perform in this test. So again, just guessing, F-14 will probably be hard, SU-27 will probably be hard. F-15, F-18 will probably be okay. Any punch back on that, RC, before we get going? So we're just flying them until they run out of fuel, right? You're getting as high, high and fast as they can before they run right. out of fuel, yeah. Stand by. Okay. We've done 25% fuel. RC has very bravely volunteered to be in the F-14. Where are you, RC? I just spawned in. You've been doing nicht gesehen. There you are. Oh, yeah. Right, you're allowed to use um, two engines to get to the runway just to expedite things. RC's very brave, he's gone for the uh, uh, F-14. This is legendary for having asymmetric thrust problems because A, the engines are powerful, B, they're very far apart. Now that is a real problem. Imagine having like a car that only has the left or the right wheel driven. Imagine trying to drive that. Not gonna be easy. And in a plane it's even worse because you've got no, no friction per se to keep you going straight and level. It's all gonna be about rudder authority, which in that plane is a problem. In this one, not so much. Okay, I've taken my asymmetric thrust limiter off. Okay, so you got full control there. So you're going to use nosal steering and a mixture of nosal steering, I imagine, and rudder then to keep it. Yeah. Okay. I'm not going to afterburner on the runway, but I may need it to get some. We do what you need. We've got a three mile runway, so there's no pressure about it getting airborne here. Here we go. Okay, oh, he's going left, so I'm going to go right engine. So. There. Ooh, ooh, it's powerful, isn't it, Elsie? Look at that go. Right, I'm going to get a feel for this, see how much rudder I need to... Ooh, hello. Now, I've got my engines close together, value viewer, so very little asymmetric torque has been produced on my aircraft. I'm only having to put about 25% rudder, where IRC has got to go essentially full rudder. But you know my philosophy about this. That's a him problem. 100 knots. 120 knots. a little bit harder now. Now more thrust is going in, but we're okay. Oh, he's going for it. Look at his plane twist. Look at it twist. Oh, okay, get to the gear. Okay, here we go. I tell you, problem. Mine just took off on its own. All right, there we go. I'm good. I'm good. Okay, I'm gonna take off and mock RC a little bit about how easy this is to fly. Hang on, I'm struggling myself now. I've got too much angle of attack. Oh God. Yeah, we forced right, the issue. I am good now. Right. Here we go. I had my own problem for a second there. Ooh. <laughs> It was a little stressful. Yes, it was. I saw you. I saw your plane. As soon as it left, it just uh, twisted. Bingo fuel. Right, uh, RC. As soon as I got off the ground, I bingo put it uh, afterburner because I. Yeah, just, otherwise it would have just fallen out of the sky. Right, so. we've got to so pretty much full power now and see how high you can get the thing. Um, how high you can get? Yeah, that's what we're doing now. So let's go. I'm getting my speed up now. The uh, time to climb is all about balancing 
the rate of climb valued viewers for the speed you've got. So you don't want to just go straight up and stall, that won't help. You've got to get either a combat climb, which is straight and level, and then up, or a balance where you can balance your speed, your drag. Um, so that's what we're going to try and do now. Kind of where I'm at right now. Balance. I'm essentially going to follow you. Our power weights aren't that different with two engines, therefore the same with one engine. So I'm going to come. The problem is, valued viewers, because he's got so much torque twist, he's got to put a massive amount of rudder. I yeah, do, I and do. that's going to they have rudder, especially in. on that airframe. That's going to cause a vast amount of drag, and this is all about drag, uh, power to weight, power to drag here. Doing pretty good on a 20 degree climb, maintaining my speed. Roger, I'm on, my fuel burn is, and I quote, 40,000 pounds per hour. So that will get me pretty high, I reckon. 2,000 pounds left. Annoying, I thought I was going to just zoom right past you. Hasn't worked like that. That Tomcat, when it gets going, when it starts getting a bit more straight, RC is running out of momentum. I am. F-15 is just getting going. Everything about this F-15 is more suited for this. No one says we couldn't use a bit of weight, friendly weight turbulence to help our buddies along. 1,500 pounds left. Look that. Which your problem. Pounds. We're all following the rules. Okay, I'm down to 1,400 pounds. Right, I'm going to start putting some pressure on you now. I'm going to go nose up. I think I've got the momentum for it. Wow, sh look at that F-15 climb. And this is why she is the king of the skies. Nothing will go like this aircraft. Nothing has since and nothing ever will again. It's the beauty of the Cold War. It produced mwah, the creme. Now, I've actually got my flaps down. I'm wondering whether I should put them up. That's a tough balance between drag and lift, drag and lift, drag and lift. I'm going to let the computer decide what's best for me, I think. Okay, we've got 1,000... I've just lost my engine. I've just lost my engine. You did? Yeah, that's embarrassing. It, the engine stalled. Oh. Oh, that's annoying. Okay. I don't know why I did that, Valley Viewers, but we got to, and I quote, 32,000... 32,000 uh, feet. Now, the annoying thing is in testing, I got all the way up to 40,000 feet, which is really annoying. Anyone out there knows why? Oh, I can take care of my other engine. I'm good, baby. I don't know why it did that. But we're back in. We're back in. Oh, oh he's overtaking me. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty good. I'm balanced pretty well now. Okay. Other than having to smash the rudder. Yep. Now, the, uh, let me get this right. The faster you go, the less... No, hang on. The faster you go, the more your vertical stabilizers are going to are gonna straighten you. So... Yeah, but I can't get fast. That's the problem. Oh. Well, you can't, I'll see. You've also got those thumping great wings. You're too slow to put the wings back. And they're massively draggy when they're out. So, again... No, I have if those wings go back right now. Okay, we had a moment problem in the... F a rare problem in the F-15, guys. But we are now cooking on gas, as it were. I've still got a few minutes left, 900 pounds. What's your rate? What's your rating? What's that? Five, 200 pounds left. Oh dear, right. Let me know what 30. that. 33,000? 37. 37? Wow, what a beast. Actually, genuinely surprised about that. I'm okay, I'm struggling with uh, drag now. Flaps are going, going up, guys. I think I can do a lot better things with the flaps down, personally. Get that, get that drag. Are right, you out? Right, write that result down, RC, because I'll lose it otherwise. I'm not done yet. Oh. oh, you're out of cons. How could you do that? Cap claims hacks. There's a firm but angry letter about to be sent to Heatbler, RC. Firm but fair. Ah, oh, 600 pounds, come on! I was singing your praises five minutes ago until you stalled your stupid engine. Right, I am getting speed up slowly sure why my engine is still running. I should be... My engine should be stalling right now because I'm at... I mean, I'm at 200 pounds of fuel. Usually 300 fuel pounds is the... It is traditional. You know what it is? The, it's, running on its, it's running on its own sense of viewer-based <laughs> bias is what it's running on right now. Poor old F-15 has to rely on good old physics. I know I had a few problems, but I'm going to go for the last rough... 300 there pounds. Okay, I'm out of fuel. Right. At 100. At what altitude? Uh, I am at 
43. Oh, come on! Seven. What is that? What plane can do that? <laughs> Jesus Christ! It's very quiet up here now. Yeah, well, you can get ready on your next plane, but don't take off, because right. I'm about to start as well. 200 pounds. Now, which engine goes first? Which engine goes first, guys? Oh, it doesn't matter, does it? Um, one's dead anyway. And my other one is full... It's not even wind... Well, it's just windmills. So that's even draggier than an idle engine. I'm letting you do the F5 this time. I'm do the F4 in it. Oh, come on! Why? Jeez. No, All I right. did I sat in that thing for... Yeah, you, you did. Lunch. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you can do it. We, we cut that out of the movie. We did hours of testing before this RC, uh, valid viewers, and I put RC in the planes, and we spent like he spent like an hour just trying the planes out, and then I said, no, I'm changing the way I'm doing this. And RC's all got it in his mind now that he can just answer back. Can you believe that? 50 pounds, RC. 50 pounds. I go for one last push. Push and beat the Tomcat. Push and beat the Tomcat, Big Eagle. Big Eagle, scream! I think we've been beaten fair and square, boys. Zero pounds. Keep burning, keep burning, keep burning, keep burning, keep burning, keep burning. And no, we're still burning. We're still burning! Got an emergency tank in there somewhere. Got a load of fuel in the standpipe, I'll see. Uh oh. I'm still nice. And we're down. We got. Nearest, damn it. That's 40,000 right there. Welcome back, Valued Views. I'm in the F5E Export Freedom Fighter. Possibly the coolest plane in the world, but. It's horrendously underpowered in every way. With one engine, I'm not even sure it's going to take off. RC's in the cheating mobile. Where are you, RC? I'm on the runway. It's going to run on its own sense of Wagnerism. Sip fuel, little F5. Just sip it. Sip it. Sip, sip, sip. Like Pickles does. Tiny little laps with a little feathery tongue. Look at that big horn. It's going to gurgle all that fuel down. Lots of noise. Not much movement. We'll let God sort the flaps out, RC. Is there anything I need to do my fuel, by the way, to make this work? Absolutely, do their own thing. Is there anything I need to do with the fuel to make this work? No. That's wonderful no. news. Right, which engine are you going with this time? I'm going to do the same left engine. Okay, I'm going to go right. Off you go then, RC. Here we go. I wish you the absolute best. Now, we've both got very tight engine nacelles, so very little asymmetric thrust to worry about here. Yeah, let's just have to put in some rudder. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Wow, this is a lot harder than I... Concentrate. Stop talking and concentrate. Where does I get... Where do I get rudder authority? Where do I get rudder authority? There it is. Wow, because this thing's right. I might as well not bother having a rudder, or maybe a rudder from a boat, because it is horrendously bad. But that's you okay. Use your nose real yes, I do. I found that out the hard way. Look at him go off like a spaceship. Yeah. That's not fair. Pretty good. Okay, I've got rudder authority. Rudder authority is proportional pretty much to speed value. Whoa, I'm up. Look at that. Nice. Get the up. Low fuel. <laughs> for me. Yeah, Great. That's a problem for you, I see. Not for me. Right, I'll make sure I drain both tanks as the next thing. God, I'm sticking on so much rudder to get this thing to fly. Fly! Already I'm having trouble. Only one tank straining, I'll see. So I'm going to bias the left. No, it won't let me do it. Feed on. So turn cross feed on. Yeah. Roger. How high are you? 15. Yeah, pretty much the same here. Nearly. You're at 15. Hey. Hey. Let's just not He's argue about this. Let's, let's just not argue about this, I'll see. <laughs> He's being argumentative again. I highly again, doubt you're at 15 right you now. You highly doubt me. Right. Well, yeah, I doubt you. You heard it here first, Valued Viewers. Even if he does win this, Valued Viewers, we win the looks contest. This F5 is sexy. I'm not doing anything. I just had to hit the green button. Yes, Dude, you do. It climbs for you. I'm going to look, jumps online and drives it for you. I thought she was going to struggle. She's actually all right. It's okay. Yeah, it's fine. It does fine up until about 30,000. Again, it to... there's just not much drag here. There's just not much drag. It's... Uh, and um, we've got very little rudder we're having to put in. In fact, I'm almost rudder neutral now. I've got my speed up finally. Ooh, who gets the short straw of the MiG-29? <laughs> Ouch. You didn't give me that one. Ouch. Well, I don't know. We haven't got there yet, have we? We haven't argued about it yet. I personally think you should be flying it because... I'll do the 29. Yeah, there you go. I'm good with it. All right. Fine. That thing is a powerhouse. Yes, it is. Okay, it's, gonna, it's not going to make it to 40,000 because the fuel is going to be gone yeah, in about two seconds. Nasty problem. But... Slow but steady, valued viewers. 
the hare won the, not the hare, the tortoise won the race or something like that. I can't remember my childhood memes. So what kind of, what kind of, oh you're conning. What kind of example is that saying for kids? Don't work hard and you'll win? I don't get it. Why did the tortoise win the race again? Uh, no, it's a different kind of example. Okay. Don't be in such a rush yes. or overconfident. Why? Confidence and taking your time wins the race. Confidence and taking your time wins the race. There you go. But it doesn't, though. If I go and get Linford Christie, he's a, a very fast runner, if you don't know, from back in my day, and you go and get uh, you, and you are, you've got all the confidence, and you can take your time. You certainly take your time, RC. You're not going to be. Your time is not going slow. It literally is, RC. Taking your time is literally going slow. That is literally what it is. It's, it's mean, going slow. Taking your own time. What do you think, valued viewers? Because we've got, we've hit an impasse yet again. RC and Cap have hit an impasse. Yes. The hair was, was, you know, overconfident and took his time. Mm -hmm. Actually, I should, I should put it another way. The hair, the hair was so confident. He didn't think he had to run fast to get to beat the tortoise. Well, uh, right. So, so he took breaks, took time. He laid down and re relaxed, and rested. Right. So, what was the moral then? Don't be the tortoise, overconfident. All the tortoise did was have confidence and took his time. We're starting to the value viewers' comments are starting to come from uh, come in. Perseverance and commitment, RC. Perseverance yeah. and commitment. How's your fuel level? Eight sixty, and I'm at thirty six thousand. Way, oh. below, way above where you're going to make it to. Is that right? Well, just remember the tortoise yeah. and the hare, RC. Remember the tortoise <laughs> and the hare. Well, I'm taking my time. RC's doing the favourite thing, thing in the world that he likes doing, is pressing that green button repeatedly. Like an old arcade game where there's just a stick and but one I green button. Huh? I grew up on. There you go. Little asteroids. Mm-hmm. Space invaders, actually. Pong. Pong. Right, Not my fuel is quite. What's your fuel, though? Because mine is pretty much fused. Uh, Eleven 1, hundred. Eleven 1, hundred. Seven hundred. Seven hundred. Right. So you're saying that the Hornet basically doesn't burn fuel. That's what we're saying. We're saying we need a firm it, but fair letter to Mr. Wagner. Is that what we're saying? It does burn fuel. No? It does. Right. Just passing through forty. Oh come on! <laughs> Since when can a legacy hornet do that? Jesus Christ! But I'm definitely losing speed here. At five degrees, and I'll be hard to maintain. Right, my engine's about to go. I'm going for one last push, guys. Ziemlich wenig Kraftstoff. Ziemlich wenig Kraftstoff. Oh, the engine's just gone. The engine's just gone. Did it? Yeah. Oh, did you I'm just out of fuel now. Right, I made it too, and I quote, 33,000 and sustain! Yeah, and a friggin' F5, baby! Let me see the Hornet and his cheating mobile. Oh, and he's still got afterburner on, come on! Fuel burn rate, question mark? Just as cross. Uh, fuel burn. Fuel flow is dropping off. It flies faster when it's got one engine, what the heck? Mark 0.65. Fall out of the sky. We all want to see you fall out of the sky. It's beating a Tomcat. That's terrible. Well, Tomcat ran out of fuel. Fuel level? 430. Not burning fuel like I was because I'm too high. God damn it! But my, I'm going to fall out of the sky here. Oh, that angle of attack is creeping up, RC. You're at 10 degrees <laughs> angle of attack. It's basically yeah, a high angle I'm pass now. That's topping yeah, out. I'm a, yeah, I'm pretty much there. I'm still gaining. So apparently a Hornet can go 45,000 feet with one engine. Yeah, I'm, I'm there. I'm putting you as 45,000 feet. Hmm. And you can probably just keep going forever because it doesn't appear to be burning fuel anymore, is it? Okay, value viewers, MiG-19P versus A-10. We're not going to take the A-10 to its fuel limit because it'll, it'll just fly forever uh, once it gets to high altitude. We're going to take it until, you know, until this runs out of fuel, I think that'll be good enough. Ich bin ein Warthog. 
like a jet, like a like a jet. I see. Oh, it's like a rocket. Like a I'm pretty sure it's not. Oh, this one is, but yours isn't. <laughs> and I've got to decide whether I go after burner or not. And I'm thinking probably not to begin with, because it burns all the fuel down here for not a vast amount of return. Oh, sweet! This ball time is marvelous. And to turn it, I've got to use brake, which is really weird. So, okay, come on, give me authority. Give me authority. I've got it. I've got authority. I'm on full rudder. You like to think you have authority. These planes with the single fin have absolutely terrible rudder authority. I just want you to know that, I'll see. Warzenschein. Warthog is a Warzenschein auf Deutsch. Kennen Sie das? Wissen, wissen Sie das? Okay, here we go. Here we go. Gear up. Zap! Come on, oh. RC, let's do this, baby. Oh, oh. Ooh, you pulled up too silent, too quickly, sir. Yeah, I'm good. No, it's you're just, good, are uh, you? Right. I need to adjust the rudder trim here. A couple things, there might be something wrong with this flight model. I'm flying like a friggin' F-15 with two engines. Just saying. No, Cap, you're wrong, you're wrong. Bye, RC. All right, rudder trim adjusted so it feels better now. Okay, climbing. Climbing. I'm at 750 feet. <laughs> well done, I'm very proud of you. Well, if it helps, I can't read the altimeter, so... It looks like we're both having some trouble, RC. You're at 1,200 feet. And the question is, when do we go to afterburner, guys? I mean, I'm not struggling at the moment, so I don't need it, but... If the S really kicks the fan, I'll go to the rifle. Oh, wow! I managed, I moved my cup of tea so quickly to my face, I splashed it all over myself. And the screen! My new screen! I splashed tea all over it! Why does God Good hate job. me, RC? God damn Good it! Good job. And that's going to stain it for tonight. Oh, no, oh well, just so angry. wipe it off. I'm doing it now. Maybe it's because I keep blaspheming. Right, I'm going power on. I doubt it. I'm going power on. I'm going I'm afterburner going power on. on too. You're putting your afterburner on too? Oh, that's yeah. excellent news. Oh, she's just. Oh, she's really going. Like a bat out of... I'm not allowed to say the H word. Bat out of something. Zoofla! My vertical stab's giving me all the stability I need now, RC. I'm just trying to wash the tea off myself. 3,100 feet. Oh, how embarrassing for you. Mine's just getting started. Oh, you know what? This is, gonna, this is giving a, going to give a Hornet a run for his money. Got all the fuel in the world right now. Have fun with that fuel. I'll see you tomorrow night with that fuel. I can fly across the world with mm -hmm. what I got. I do. That's where I developed my drinking problem, boys, during this test. You know what? This plane really does have everything going for it. It's lightweight. It's slippery. It's got uh, engines close together. It's got reheat. This really has got everything going for it, guys. The problem to find out my altitude, I have to do an F3 view. That's the only annoying thing. I can look for you. Because um, I've got mine in autopilot. It's just going to... Oops. Here it is. 16,000. Ooh, that sounds pretty good. How's your fuel? Uh, I don't really understand the gauge. It's it's on two. I don't know whether that's good or bad. It's too good or bad, RC. Uh, I don't know. Let's go for good. Let's go for two being good, shall we? Engine is at 50% RPM. I guess that's because it's getting air pushing through it. Yeah, and it's not idle. That's why it's an idle. Yeah. Idle, they all idle about 50, 60%. Still gonna be You're massive. 20, drag. Coming through yep. twenty thousand. It's that reheat, baby, it's that reheat. It's the I'm dry coming heat. Through Oops. You got the dud plane, RC. Yet again, you got the dud plane. <laughs> this wasn't even just should we should even test it this. The one. cap is really complex, so you must be wrong. It's got the teapot. It's a great plane. So I listen to every day from the Valley viewers. It's all got right. all the functions on the T-Pod. 25,000 for you. Yeah, baby! We're, record, we're coming! We're coming! This thing just gets faster the higher we go, boys. It's so powerful. Powerful like a big racing horse. A big racing horse! 31,000. Wow-wee! Jesus Christ, this is amazing. Daddy, Daddy, I want a MiG-19 for Christmas. Not sure why the body's shaking. Anyone know why the body's shaking? My plane has Tourette's, sir. Speed looks okay. 
firm but fair letter is on its way to Rasban. Kinematically, this is an absolute beast of a plane, always has been. Wouldn't want to dogfight with it, but as it's a Russian uh, steam, as it's a Russian fuel gauge, I imagine it'll probably run out of fuel before it actually gets to zero on the gauge. You know what they're like. Yes, you got plenty of fuel, comrade. Just coming through 10,000 feet for me. Yeah, about the same with me. Oh, wait. <laughs> no, time's up by four. <laughs> Ouch. RC's pride out in the can. This oh. is the tortoise. Yes. <laughs> You've had to prove that your own theories are wrong, RC. <laughs> yes, he is, value viewers. Yes, he is. Give me a check, RC. I can't let go. I have to balance this thing Thank to keep you. it living. Uh, you are at 40,000. Ooh, there it goes, RC. If I'm going to do five more thousand, I'm beating the friggin' Hornet, baby! Oh. How's your fuel? Uh, it went off the gauge a long time ago. Went off the gauge a long time ago, RC. Ah, oh, I ran out! No! Yeah, you're at 41, a 42. Must beat Hornet! <laughs> Must beat Hornet at all 43. Costs. Must do everything to beat Hornet. 44. Why didn't I pull up earlier? Why didn't I pull up earlier? Oh, I'm running out of airspeed. Okay, that's sustainable there. 170 is what you made. Woo! I say 45 then. Punching out, baby. And you made it to what, RC? And you're ridiculous. 11,200. But the teapot's so realistic, Cap. I'm gonna sit and stare at it all day. Hey, welcome back, Valley viewers. I've got the wonderful S Shukoi SU27. Uh, not actually that fast because it's heavy, very heavy, and not actually that powerful. But she's a good, solid gal. RC, however, has the genuine Widowmaker, the MiG-29A, which has all the power to weight in the world, but... Are you there? Hello, RC. Yep, I'm literally talking. Right, you set off in your uh, yeah. monster munch. I don't think I'll have enough fuel to get to the end of the runway. Well, that's a you problem. Here we go. The gap's coming. Okay, that's not gonna work. Oh, how embarrassing! You went after about straight away! Never go full really retard! I mean, right, reheat. Save it. Here we go. Yeah, a bit more maturity, yeah. please, RC. We'll see us through. Thanks. Whoa. Man, that thing is. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Okay, look at him, look at him. You know, this is the proverbial, you're the hare here, I'm the horse. No, who's the other one? The tortoise. 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 I'm just chilling in my own thing, and you're you're stewing in your own juices. You got so excited. Well, yes, I have to say, I don't have to give it much rudder. I just give it a little extra, a little left stick, and it stable. Well, that's weird, because you've got massive space in the cell. I know. That's weird, valued viewers. Oh, I've got the It is an FC3. It is an FC3. Right, I'm coming, RC. Ich komme gerne. Look at him with all his power to weight, Ryoshio. Burning all that fuel, sucking it all through those big pipes. But to what avail? I've got 550 kilograms of fuel remaining. Oops. You got the wrong plane. I got 2,000. <laughs> I got 2,000. Watch Russian for bingo fuel. A thump in the distance. <laughs> 500. I'm not going to make it very high. Wow, you are going really high, really fast. Yeah. But... I'm scared to slow down now, though. I'm not going to lie, that thing is fast, RC. Are you off afterburner? Three. Wow. No, what? Are you off afterburner? No. How are you now? Wow, you're conning, what the hell? I am at 30,000. Okay, there was a clear distinction between our planes at this point. <laughs> I won't lie about that. Blanca want to live. I'm slowing down like a bee arch. Still 250. Got my fuel situation. 1,000 kilos. I'm still going. Are you out of fuel, RC? I'm out of fuel. I'm still climbing. Oh, he's got 40. it. He's got it. 40,000. Right, you get started on the MiG-25. I mean, the SU-25, RC. I'm going to be That's a little while longer. same as the other one. Let's go and do it, RC. The value viewers are going to be say, Oh, RC, you didn't do it. So just gonna do it. Just as cross. <laughs> you know what he was, guys? He was the hare. He was all spunk and bellissimo, but he didn't have anything in him. 
Hey, made it to 40,000. That's pretty good. Alright. I'll take it. Yeah, right. We know that thing. I'm going. I'm going. We know that thing takes fuel like nothing yes, else. it does. These Saturns are rather thirsty. How are you getting on with the 25, I'll see? Fine. You got airborne? You could get tea with the HUD, but... I'll tell you what I think it is, because we've got very wide separation of, um... Uh, we've got very wide separation of, what are they called? Engines, there they are. Engines. Um, I'm getting a lot of twists, like with the Tomcat. Then again, the Tomcat did really well. So I really don't know. I think the Tomcat did well because of its big glider wings. So it made a lot of lift. That's my theory, at low speeds. But I really am grasping at straws at this point. Okay, take it back. I'm up 40. I'm up uh, 40,000 feet now. She's, she's starting to come alive. She's starting to stretch her legs now. The Saturn's yeah. already doing their thing. It is a high altitude fighter at the end of the day, so it's got good optimization with these motors. I believe 450 pounds. The fuel rate, the burn rate's gone right down. But my angle of attack's going right up. My speed's coming right down. But I think we've got a potential champion here. Just the mix of fuel burn. Engine optimization, lift, drag, everything. We might actually have a winner. Which would the J11 be the same? Yeah, it was almost. A it is literally yeah. a. Uh, same uh, aircraft. Uh, yeah, they build it from the same schematics, and um, they've just got a couple of extra features added here or there. But the engines are the same. Yep, the Saturns or uh, remanufactured Saturns. I believe. What a beast, ladies and gents! Angle of attack's got too high, gotta to ease off just a bit. 43,500 RC. Nice. We are definitely going for the championship here, Valley Viewers. 300 kilos, 300 kilos. Is it 45? One more thousand! One more thousand! Come on, you can do it, Flanker! Flaps will slow you down, but they'll give you a better it's tough. boot. We're going to try with flaps. Stand by. Flaps down. What I can actually do at that point is reduce the angle of attack a little bit. We're climbing. Flaps are, flaps are good. Flaps are good. Oh, speed's coming down. We're okay. We've got the fuel. We've got 200 kilos of fuel. It's 400 pounds. Angle of attack's at 10 degrees. We're at a high alpha pass now. We did, we got, yeah, we, we did get up. I've got the fuel, I'm going to try something else as well. I'm going to turn my flaps off, put my nose down. As I've got a tiny bit of fuel to burn. Watch this, valid viewers. You know what? My life for a frigging velocity vector. How hard was it to design that? Yeah, I tried going up again, but I got 46,000, so it's a definite champion, yo. How are you getting on, RC? Uh... 25,000. Fuel load? About three, 300 kilograms left. Right. Stand by. So the 29. But I'm not going to make it much further than I am. Okay, valid views. So the absolute king of high altitude with one engine uh, and sustainability with one engine and takeoff is SU 27 with 46,000 feet. And it can sustain that before it ran out of fuel, which is amazing. F 18 is next best at 45,000 feet. That was literally aerodynamic max. Couldn't, couldn't get any higher. And again, it could sustain that with fuel to burn, which was amazing. MiG-19 did run out of fuel, but it did manage to peak at 45. So slightly below the 18, but still amazing for a 1950s aircraft. That really is beyond belief, that is. F-14B did a lot better than I thought it would at 43,000. F-15 only made 40,000, but remember, we did have some problems. An engine shut off for about half a minute, maybe longer. So we realistically could have got it a little bit higher. Uh, MiG-19 made 40k and it was obviously out of fuel as you thought it might be but still pretty good F5E actually really chuffed at I mean if you look at the para uh, you look at the statistics of the F5 versus these monsters it did really well at 33 SU-25 was surprising at 27k thereabouts yeah. and the A10 did well. just didn't climb <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why it would have yeah. gone around the world in terms of fuel consumption but it just didn't climb uh, even, you know, actually, I'm not going to slag it off because I'm in trouble, but that's how it is, RC. Anything you want to mention about that? Nope. I hope you enjoyed that and see you later.